I've always admired my mother, Lauren, for her unique flair and her uncanny ability to predict things before they happen. Some might call it a sixth sense, but to me, it's just part of what makes her so extraordinary. Growing up with mom was like having a front row seat to a constant spectacle. She was not your average mom, far from it, actually. While other moms in our neighborhood opted for the comfort of jeans and t-shirts, Lauren embraced boldness. Tight dresses, knee-high boots, and high heels were her signature style, even for mundane trips to the grocery store. It was as if she approached life as though it were a grand fashion gala, and every outing was her moment to shine. It's always intrigued me, and when I was young, I would slip my feet into her heels just for fun, thinking nothing of it. I admired her confidence, her flair for standing out in a crowd. As a child, I didn't understand the significance of her fashion choices beyond the superficial appeal. But as I grew older, I began to realize that her boldness represented something deeper, a celebration of femininity in all its forms. Only years later did I develop a deep fascination for femininity. It was during my teenage years that I stumbled upon the concept of cross-dressing. At first, it was merely a passing curiosity, a fleeting interest sparked by an internet search or a chance encounter with a magazine article. But as I delved deeper into the world of gender expression, I found myself drawn to the idea of exploring my own identity beyond the confines of traditional gender norms. My name is Alex, and I'm the son of Lauren, the woman who defied convention with every step she took in her sky-high heels. Growing up in her shadow, I was surrounded by beauty, confidence, and a sense of liberation that I couldn't quite put into words. It wasn't until I embarked on my own journey of self-discovery that I began to understand the true power of femininity and the freedom it offered to those brave enough to embrace it. At first, I kept my newfound fascination with cross-dressing hidden from mom, unsure of how she would react to my unconventional desires. But as time passed, I found myself drawn to her closet, unable to resist the allure of her glamorous wardrobe. I would spend hours experimenting with different outfits, admiring the way the fabric draped across my body and the way the heels elongated my legs. It was a secret world, one that existed beyond the confines of my everyday life. In those stolen moments, I felt a sense of liberation, unlike anything I had ever experienced before. It was as if I had unlocked a hidden part of myself, a side that I had kept buried beneath layers of societal expectations and self-doubt. But as much as I reveled in the thrill of exploring my feminine side, there was always a lingering fear of discovery, a nagging doubt that mom would never understand or accept the truth about who I really was. And so I kept my desires hidden, burying them beneath a facade of normalcy and conformity, the best thing about my mother was that her closet was always full of all sorts of clothes, so I never needed to have my own secret hidden collection of feminine clothes. Thankfully, they fit me too. I would wear her blonde wig, her dresses, her heels, earrings, and everything in between. It was amazing. Whenever I was home alone, I would transform into a beautiful woman. Surprisingly, I got good at walking in heels, and I would pretend I'm doing a fashion show catwalk around the house. It really made me happy and feel at peace experiencing femininity. The sensation of slipping into her clothes was like stepping into another world, one where I could shed the constraints of masculinity and embrace the freedom of femininity. Each garment carried with it a sense of history, a piece of mom's own journey woven into the fabric. As I ran my fingers over the delicate lace and satin, I felt a connection to her that transcended words. It wasn't just about wearing pretty clothes, it was about inhabiting a space that felt authentically mine. In those stolen moments of solitude, I was no longer bound by the expectations of society or the limitations of my own identity. Instead, I was free to explore the depths of my soul, to unearth the hidden desires and dreams that lay dormant within me. And so I would lose myself in the fantasy twirling and spinning in front of the mirror as I practiced my runway strut. With each step, I felt more confident, 
more alive, as if I were finally stepping into the person I was always meant to be. The next day, I opened the door to a cascade of packages addressed to my mother. They were stacked neatly on the doorstep, each one promising a new treasure within. I couldn't help but feel a flutter of excitement as I carried them inside, imagining the possibilities contained within those cardboard boxes. I sat on the sofa, watching as mom opened the parcels one by one, her eyes alight with excitement. Some contained heels, others dresses, and I was amazed at the variety and beauty of each item. Wow, mom, those look great, I exclaimed, unable to contain my enthusiasm. Yeah, they do, don't they, Alex? Mom replied, her smile radiant. I can't wait to wear them out. As she held up each new addition to her wardrobe, I found myself secretly plotting different outfits in my mind. The sleek black heels would look perfect with the red dress, while the strappy sandals would pair effortlessly with the floral skirt. The possibilities were endless, and I couldn't wait to dive into Mom's closet once again, this time armed with a fresh arsenal of accessories. But amidst the excitement of the new arrivals, there was a twinge of guilt gnawing at the edges of my conscience. As much as I loved playing dress up in mom's clothes, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was betraying her trust by keeping my secret hidden. But as the last package was opened, my fears were momentarily forgotten in the face of a stunning revelation. It was a pink box, delicately wrapped and adorned with a satin bow. Mom's eyes lit up with excitement as she carefully untied the ribbon and lifted the lid, revealing the contents within. My mouth dropped open in astonishment as she revealed the contents, a set of sexy lingerie, the delicate lace and satin shimmering in the soft afternoon light. It looked absolutely gorgeous, the embodiment of femininity and sensuality combined. I couldn't tear my eyes away from it, my mind racing with forbidden thoughts and desires. The idea of wearing such intimate attire filled me with a sense of excitement and trepidation, the feeling of lace against my skin sending shivers down my spine. For a moment, I was lost in a haze of fantasy, imagining myself adorned in the sheer fabric, a vision of beauty and allure. The thought of embodying the essence of womanhood, even if only for a fleeting moment, thrilled me to the core. After the excitement of the parcel unveiling, I retreated to my room, the image of the lingerie still vivid in my mind. I couldn't shake the temptation to try it on, to experience the sensation of lace against my skin, even if just for a moment. But the fear of discovery kept me rooted to the spot, my heart pounding with apprehension. Just as I was beginning to calm my racing thoughts, there was a soft knock on my door, and before I could respond, Mom breezed into the room with a mischievous smirk on her face. Alex, darling, what was your favorite new thing I got? She asked, her eyes twinkling with amusement. I laughed nervously, trying to feign nonchalance despite the butterflies fluttering in my stomach. Mom, I liked everything, honestly. I replied, hoping to deflect her attention away from the lingerie. But mom wasn't so easily fooled. With a knowing glint in her eye, she crossed the room and perched herself on the edge of my bed, her gaze fixed on mine. Come on, Alex, I know there was something you liked the most, she teased, her tone playful yet probing. I felt a bead of sweat form on my brow as I searched for the right words, my mind racing with panicked thoughts. Did she know about my secret desire to try on the lingerie? Was she testing me, waiting for me to reveal the truth? But before I could form a coherent response, mom's expression softened, her hand reaching out to gently grasp mine. Hey, it's okay, she said softly, her voice filled with warmth and understanding. You don't have to be afraid to tell me what you like. I want you to feel comfortable being yourself around me, no matter what. Her words washed over me like a soothing balm, melting away the tension that had been coiled tight within my chest. In that moment, I realized that mom wasn't trying to catch me in a lie or expose my secrets. She was simply reaching out with love and acceptance, 
offering me the chance to be vulnerable and authentic in her presence. With a sigh of relief, I met her gaze, a small smile tugging at the corners of my lips. Well, if I had to choose, I began hesitantly, I think the lingerie was my favorite. It looked really beautiful, Mom. To my surprise, Mom's face lit up with genuine delight, her eyes sparkling with pride. I thought you might say that, she said, her smile widening. You have great taste, Alex. Her words filled me with a mix of relief and gratitude. I had been so worried about how Mom would react, but her response was far beyond anything I could have hoped for. It was as if a weight had been lifted from my shoulders, and I felt a newfound sense of freedom and acceptance wash over me. As I basked in Mom's warm approval, she continued, her tone gentle and understanding. Alex, I know about your secret desires, she confessed, her voice carrying a depth of compassion that brought tears to my eyes. I've seen my clothes moved and a few telltale signs that you're exploring femininity. I blinked in surprise, feeling a rush of panic and embarrassment at the thought of Mom discovering my secret. But before I could even begin to explain myself, Mom's next words stopped me in my tracks. It's perfectly normal, Alex, she reassured me, her voice filled with warmth and acceptance. I'm glad you're experimenting and exploring who you are. You should never feel ashamed of wanting to understand yourself better. Her words washed over me like a soothing balm, easing the fear and uncertainty that had gripped my heart. In that moment, I felt a profound sense of gratitude for Mom's unwavering support and understanding. But Mom wasn't finished yet. You know, she said, a mischievous twinkle in her eye. I was looking forward to wearing that lingerie, but I think it might look better on you. How about I turn you into a girl and we can see? I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Was mom really suggesting that she help me explore my feminine side? It was a moment of pure disbelief, followed by a surge of excitement and anticipation. With a nod, I agreed, feeling a rush of adrenaline course through me at the prospect of finally embracing my true self with mom's support. As we made our way to her room, my heart raced with anticipation. With each step, I felt a sense of liberation and empowerment, knowing that I was about to take a bold step towards embracing my authentic identity. And as mom gently adjusted the blonde wig on my head, I looked at myself in the mirror, hardly recognizing the reflection staring back at me. But in that moment, I felt a sense of euphoria and freedom wash over me, knowing that I was finally able to be myself, no matter what anyone else might think. The blonde waves cascaded around my face, framing features that felt both foreign and strangely fitting. With each adjustment, Mom's hands seemed to infuse me with a newfound sense of confidence, as though she was sculpting me into the person I was always meant to be. I turned this way and that, examining every angle, every detail. The person in the mirror was beautiful, but more than that, she was me. For the first time in my life, I felt a deep sense of alignment between my inner self and the person I presented to the world. But the transformation didn't stop there. With gentle hands, Mom guided me through each step, from shaving my legs with the epilator to helping me slip into the delicate lace panties and bra. With each garment, I felt a sense of empowerment, as though I was shedding the last vestiges of my old identity and stepping boldly into a new chapter of my life. Wow, Mom, it feels amazing, I breathed, the fabric of the lingerie soft against my skin. Mom smiled, her eyes shimmering with pride. I knew you'd like it, she said, her voice filled with warmth and love. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.